wonderful to see you again, my friend. God protects you from all harm and uh, he walks with you and he is always there to help, guide, lead and uh, give you the joy of the Lord. God is always with you, my friend. You know, in the Bible, the book of uh, Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 19 says, Because of your great compassion, you did not abandon them in the wilderness. By day, the pillar of cloud did not fail to guide them on their path, nor the pillar of fire by night to shine on the way they were to take. You know, God always guides us. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, He comes on our side to help us and uh, He provides that is required for us to finish the race, finish the journey. So, by the way, let me help you to understand that we are all in a journey. Life on earth is a journey. Whether you believe it or not, it is a journey. Nobody is permanent here. We are here today and uh, we need to leave this body. This body is just a tent. Our soul is uh, taking rest in it. And uh, we are here for a temporary um, uh, arrangement and we need to meet God, the God who created us. Because Bible clearly says, God breathed his spirit into the nostrils of man. As a result, man became a living being. We are alive today because God breathed his spirit into us and today we are breathing and we are having life because the eternal God has given us life. So it's a spiritual journey. It's a journey. In the journey, you are not alone. If you come to God, God helps us to face the realities of suffering, pain, disturbance, sickness and whatnot. Life is, you know, it's a painful journey. But in this journey, God comes on our side to finish well. The people of Israel in the Bible, they travel 40 years in a wilderness, but God was with them. You know how God, it's like a wilderness. Life is a wilderness on earth. And uh, in this journey, God comes on our side to help us to finish our uh, journey. In the book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 21 says, By day the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way. By day the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud. God goes ahead of us to open ways, to clear the way, so that we walk and finish our race. My friend, if you find difficulty in your life, if you feel that nothing is working in you, God is there to help you. He opens unimaginable doors for you to walk and enjoy the presence of God. Because God is you know, a reality that He always walks with us. In the year 1993, I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior 26 years now. All the time I have seen God going ahead of me and preparing a way for me to move on in this life. Life is not easy. It's complicated. There will be unexpected storms, unexpected people block our way. There will be, you know, a time of sickness, loneliness, frustration, discouragement, unexpected waves hit us. But in all those times, you know, if you, if you believe in God, God will go ahead of you and he will clear the way. He will clear the way. And you will walk. You will not stop. That's what happened. Even in my life, I've experienced God. Even in this time, I, right now, I am in Dallas in a friend's house, John's house. And a God came ahead of me. I just came a few weeks ago to U.S. But before I come, God, keep, God walked before me, prepared a way for me to stay, where to stay, where to preach, how to get in here and there. You know, God goes ahead of us. He opens doors that are required for our lives, survival, sustenance. Are you struggling 
for some kind of survival and sustenance. Here is God who, who goes ahead of you. I'm telling this with my experience. It's not a theology. You know, you can have, you can experience that theology in your personal life provided you come to God. When you trust in God, God walks with you. That's what happened in the life of Israel. God, by day, the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on the day, on their way. You know, daytime, particularly in the day daytime, it's very hard. In that context, God gave them shade like a pillar of cloud. God gives you rest. God gives you a way to walk and enjoy. There is an amazing rest in God. God says, come to me, I'll give you the rest. We don't need to struggle in this life. We don't need to be disturbed, discouraged. You are not alone. That triune God, a God who created the entire universe, when he's going ahead of you, you know, what an amazing blessing it is. In this world, the political people will have a security. In India, they will have, you know, the prominent leaders will have a Z security, Z security. People go ahead of them. The convoy, the uh, vehicles will go before and behind and a lot of security around. When you come to God, you will have better than that security. God sends angels ahead of you to prepare a way. That's the reason. Bible clearly says, I send my angel ahead of you to prepare a way for you, to guard you on the way and bring you back. You know, that's what I'm experiencing now in this U.S. visit. I visited, this is my sixth or seventh visit. Every time I came to U.S., you know, God prepared a way. Every time I go for a mission trip in India, you know, God prepared a way. When I worked in Uttarakhand in a, in a city called Dehradun, you know, God opened amazing doors. I traveled all those Himalayan hills, Pethoragad, Champawat, uh, Almoda, and uh, whatnot, Srinagar, all those districts I travel. Before I go, God arranged a way, a accommodation for me. He goes ahead of us like a cloud in the daytime to protect you, to guide you and to lead you. And the words clearly says, not only in the daytime, even in the night um, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light so that they could travel by day or night. You can travel by day and night. You can enjoy your life whether when you have abundance and you can enjoy your life even when there are waves hit you like a night, darkness. Darkness will come without a, you know, sometimes life becomes so dark. There will be unexpected sickness, unexpected financial crisis, unexpected relationship problems. But even you enjoy in that night, if you are under the wings of the Almighty God, the Lord Jesus always there with his people. He said, lo, I am with you till the very end of the age. There's not a single day he leaves you. It is you who desert him and it is you who betray him and get away. But God will never, never leave you. God says, I am with you till the very end of the age. He is with you right now. Do you want to come to God? I don't know. What is your context now? What are the problems you have? Come to God and uh, give priority to the Lord Jesus Christ. First priority to him. Make him as your God and friend and uh, give him everything to him. Surrender him to him. And now when you surrender yourself, everything to God, you will see amazing blessing of God and you enjoy God. Let me encourage you, my friend. There is nothing out there security, only the Lord. When you come to God, he will give you security. He will open, open amazing doors that you have never experienced. You can experience a heaven on earth and you will enjoy it. May God bless you. Keep watching. And uh, may God bless you and give you grace to travel and finish your race. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.